Hi, this is Dave. My friend Joe and I started a website called MaxMMA.com to help promote mixed martial arts on a grassroots level in New York and hopefully sell some of our clothing along the way. I'm driving to a gym on the outskirts of a little town called McGraw in central New York to meet up with Ryan Ciatoli, the head trainer for Team Bomb Squad. This is the team that helped launch such fighters as John Jones, Mike Vicenzio, and WEC's John Franchi. Ryan asked us if we would be interested in filming some of his guys getting ready for their upcoming fights in Pennsylvania. We immediately agreed. We saw it as an opportunity to show the world, or at least those who watch YouTube videos anyway, that MMA fighters are among the most hardworking, focused, and dedicated professional athletes of any sport. Above that, we found them to be really good guys who use terms like honor and sacrifice with refreshing sincerity. So come check out the Bomb Squad. What's up, Ryan? How you doing? Good. Just getting ready for practice. Thanks. Taking the long walk. Yeah. Not too long. It didn't look warm today, but then it was what, 20? Yeah. Ryan, what are you having these guys do right now? Uh, just uh, doing the MMA spar pretty much and uh, you know getting their rounds in. Uh, they're both, our, all five guys are fighting in uh, three five minute rounds. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna do their rounds today and we got fresh guys coming in uh, every round with minute breaks in between. So Saturdays are usually our hard sparring days. This is their last intense day and then uh, we kind of taper off. Uh, next week, you know, basically just eat some weight and getting ready mentally. in here is great and yeah. it has us well prepared for, for a fight. It's 100% they're going at it right now, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Good movement. Good head movement. You know if we, you know, if we get a, you know if we get a guy on a clear streak or, you know, we need to pull our punches a little bit or right, right. something, you know, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Bring it. Yeah. Okay. Kenny, why do you put yourself through this? Good. Put your hand over No, just so passionate about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Just a, a dream, you know, and I want to I wanna live it out. Man. Yeah. Take it to the limit, man. It's worth it. Short block, short block, go, go. Get it, Johnny. Oh, my elbow's numb, though. I Hey, uh, my name is Patrick Bennett, I'm right here at Bomb Squad, I'm Syracuse, New York, heavyweight. Cool. And how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing this just about a year and a half now, almost two years. Uh, previously I wrestled throughout college, growing up throughout college. 
Uh, you, you wrestled collegiately, you said? Yeah. Where'd yeah. you wrestle? I wrestled the SUNY Brockport. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what got you in MMA? Um, I don't know, a lot of people suggested I should try it out. Um, actually, uh, I think it was John Jones' this fight against Stefan Bonner that, that really inspired me because, you know, you got in it and only had like six months in the sport and, you know, got ready right into it and it was successful. Uh, I think a lot of it had to do with the lesson back from being an awesome man. Yeah, thanks. And, uh, what kind of sacrifices this? Um, a lot actually. I just quit my job um, up in a uh, full time job working for the state of New York. Really good job. And I gave it up because I want to give this a shot and see what I can do with it. So you know, I sat here sad. I sat here my whole life. I stay here in the week, Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday. I'm going to get a home bounce spot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You've got a fight, uh, a fight coming up next weekend. Yeah, yeah, next week in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Six of us are fighting down there. Um, so yeah, I got my second pro fight down there. Second fight. And uh, who's your opponent? Um, his name is Chris Sidnor. He's got uh, two or three pro fights. He's got five, six amateur fights. And I think I guess his background's wrestling and jujitsu. So. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, uh, how often do you train? Uh, I train six days a week. Um, here we practice here six days a week, and then uh, I, uh, I'm always in the gym at least six days a week. Now you're coming down from Syracuse? Um, here? Yeah, I'm originally from Syracuse, but during the week I stay right here. Uh, right at the bomb squad? Yeah, right here with Ryan, here at bomb squad, along with Kenny and, and um, Kenny and um, Anthony Leone. We all, we all live together down here. So. So this is a, it's a complete it's life. Yeah, this yeah. is your life. Yeah. You know, cool. Time being at least, yeah, give it a shot. Yes. Right there. When, when he comes, comes in, in on you, Kenny, you gotta move. You can't just put your head down and stand there. That's why you're getting hit with those kicks. Come on, Kenny. Kenny, this is for you, huh? Um, I feel good. I, I kind of fatigued at the end, but you know, I think you're going to get that with a fresh guy coming in every round, but you know, I feel like my timing's pretty good. I was landing some good kicks. Um, first couple rounds, I felt like I was pushing the pace. Yeah, so good, good day for me. Good day for me. Yeah. Come on. It's tough, man. It's tough. Come on. How often do you do this? A hard spar like this, maybe once a week, sometimes twice, but really that's about all you can take, you know. This would be, and this is my last spar before the fight next week, kind of, you know, uh, I'll train tomorrow, maybe hit some pads and stuff like that, and then, you know, you just kind of taper down the intensity and get down the weight and try to, you know, recuperate as much as you can before the fight. After, you know, a good six, eight week training camp, you know, you got to kind of build it up and then, and then take it down. And, back up again you know so it's uh you know it's definitely definitely a, a science to it i think yeah you know but uh these are the good days in here you know i mean even when you feel like shit and you're beat up we talked with these guys last weekend and they were feeling a little run down and feeling shitty and kind of the uh one of the things I like to say is, uh, you know, anybody can train hard when they're feeling great, you know, but when you're feeling like shit and maybe you're getting beat up a little bit in practice, it's tough to, you know, keep getting back up and getting in there. But I think those are the days when you really make strides as a, as a fighter and, and really that's where you build part and, you know, intensity when you're able to kind of fucking drag yourself out of the dirt and come back, keep coming back for more, you know. You really make a lot of improvements there. So that was me a few weeks ago. I was real run down, really unhappy with the way I was sparring and performing. And uh, you know, got some rest and bounced back good and feeling great. Thanks. Come on, Kenny, move. Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your feet. Move your head. Tough, man. Don't you don't take it easy on him. Yeah. <laughs> Four or five. Weight's starting to come down. A little fatigue starting to kick in. But uh, still, I'm sure it, uh, I'll get stronger as the week goes on. That was my last tough, tough workout. Mm -hmm. The rest is maybe just some sad work. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. So I'll recover quick and start feeling good again. You just did five fives, right? Uh, three fives. Three fives.
Actually, four or five. Yeah, I thought I saw you out there more than three times. I bet, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, battle run, you lost count. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah.